In November, Perrysburg schools will ask voters to pass a critical levy to fund the district. It will pay for things like salaries and bus drivers. Sharice Thompson reports if the levy doesn't pass, the district says it could mean big cuts. With Perrysburg's population growing and the state funding not keeping up, the school district says it needs that millage to fund public education over the next five years. If the levy passes, it would generate an additional $7 million a year over the next five years, starting with the 2019-2020 school year. Tom Hostler, superintendent of Perrysburg Schools, says that money is needed to help hire teachers, bus drivers, and provide additional funding the district needs. Last year, Perrysburg Schools added an additional 300 students. That number is expected to grow. Hausler says the district is receiving state funding, but it's not enough to keep up with student numbers the district is expecting over the next five years. We, we talk about the reasons why this is important and, and maintaining that academic excellence, um, handling growth, safety, security. But we know if we don't receive that money, we'll be having another conversation later in the campaign uh, to talk about well, what happens if it doesn't pass because if we don't have those funds, we will have to begin to make reductions. Voters passed a similar millage in 2012, which ended in 2016. Voters head to the polls on November 5th. We'll keep up with this story and let you know what they decide. Sharice Thompson, WTOL 11.